I'm Anil Kumar and in this video I'm going to discuss with you in details how to find limits of functions which may have a square root part of the function also. So the question here is find limit when x approaches 0 of x divided by square root of 3x plus 1 minus 1. First step should be just substitute x equals to whatever you are approaching. You are approaching 0 let's write x equals to 0 in the expression and see what do we get. So we get 0 over square root of 3 times 0 plus 1 minus 1, right? 3 times 0 is 0 plus 1, 1, square root 1, 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. So we get 0 over 0. If you get 0 over 0, this is called indeterminate form. Z dividing by 0 is meaningless but it tells you one important thing and that is that there is a common factor in both numerator and denominator. So the idea is somehow to extract that common factor. Now when we have square root functions the best way is to rationalize. So I'll do the rationalization which is a very standard technique to solve such limits problem as method 2. Let me begin with substitution method. Substitution is kind of tricky to adopt but it's good to learn. So, so we'll extend this video uh, by adding this method. So I'm using substitution. It is not the first choice. Let's be very clear, okay? It's not the first choice but somehow I like it. So let me discuss it. It may be helpful so let us substitute the square root thing as some variable. Let's say u equals to square root of 3x plus 1. In that case, u square will be equals to 3x plus 1. And we can find what x is. We'll take 1 the side. So we get u square minus 1 equals to 3x. Or x is equals to u square minus 1 divided by 3, right? So in this expression, we can replace the square root term with u and x with u square minus 1 over 3. Now whenever you do substitution, you should always look into this part of the limit also. When x approaches 0, what will u be approaching? So x approaches 0, u approaches what? So we'll substitute x as 0 in this expression. So we get 3 times 0 plus 1. So that means u approaches 1, right? Now, Using this substitution, we can rewrite the question as limit u approaches 1, x as you can see is u square minus 1 over 3, and let me write the other part as 1 over, the square root part is u, right, and then minus 1, so u minus 1. I'm avoiding two layers, rather three layers of fractions in this way, right? So, so now we have to find limit of this expression. You see that? Now that is not very difficult. See, we could factor this. So we have limit u approaches 1. And in the numerator, we have u plus 1 times u minus 1. The denominator is 3 times u minus 1. Right? So you get this concept of common factor is now very clear. Do you see this u minus 1? What makes it 0 over 0? has been extracted by this substitution and now we can cancel it. As soon as you cancel it, you can substitute u as 1. Now there is not a problem. So if you substitute 1, you get 1 plus 1 over 3, which is 2 over 3. Do you see that? This particular method may involve some algebraic uh, manipulation, but it is very effective way of solving such functions. Now let's do the standard method, which is rationalization, right? So, so now I'll do rationalization. In rationalization, we multiply and divide by the conjugate, right? Uh, conjugate means if I have a plus b, then conjugate is a minus b. When you multiply, you get a square minus b square, right? So that means square of square root is square root gone 
and that helps to simplify the expression that's the whole idea right so let's rewrite this uh, limit as limit x approaches 0 and what we have here is x divided by 3x plus 1 square root minus 1 times now what is conjugate of this we have to change this sign right so we have the square root of 3x plus 1 plus 1 divided by square root of 3x plus 1 plus 1 effectively you are multiplying and dividing by the same factor that is multiplying by 1 so you're not really changing your function you get an idea right so now this limit could be written as limit x approaches numerator is x times this so we rationalize denominator do you see that so in the numerator we have x times within bracket square root of 3x plus 1 plus 1 right and the denominator is this square minus that square right that's the beauty of this rationalization so we get rid of the square root so we get 3x my plus 1 minus 1 square which which means 1 so now we could write this as limit x approaches 0 numerator we have x times square root of 3x plus 1 plus 1 and the denominator can be simplified 1 minus 1 is 0 so we get 3x here do you see that so now x is a common factor in the numerator and denominator we cancel that off and we are left with limit x approaches 0 and we have square root of 3x plus 1 plus 1 divided by 3 now if I substitute 0 here what do I get square root of 0 plus 1 plus 1 divided by 3 this is 1 1 plus 1 is 1 so we get 2 over 3 so what we get is exactly what was expected well 2 over 3 is our answer do you see that so that is the limit of this function when x approaches 0 right so it is 2 over 3 so that is how you can find limit of such functions so two techniques substitution or rationalization rationalization is the popular technique right so let me give this as the heads off right so normally this is what we do right but the substitution method is good to learn now why well when you do integration as you move on with calculus you may need more of substitution so it's a good idea to get used to this method of working i'm anil kumar and i hope you appreciate it if you like it you can put a like and feel free to post your questions that helps me to make some good videos thank you and all the best